Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, welcome to the new edition of the Basement Series. That's right, you've probably seen me and Robert in a lot of other videos where like people have said it's the dollhouse. Maybe you have seen us outside in the backyard. Maybe you've seen us somewhere on the job site in people's backyards. Okay, so we're doing a new set of videos called the Basement Series. That's right, we're gonna make you fix pumps, man. No BS. That's right, so if you have an attic, if you have an outside, if you have a shed, or now if you have a basement, we're going to show you that it's possible to repair your own pool pump, save hundreds of dollars right inside your own disgusting, filthy basement. That's right. So, like, if you're a, if you're someone's wife and you're watching this, you're thinking, "Hey, my husband just told me we needed a new pool pump for 400 bucks." No, you don't. No, you don't. You can buy 20 to 30 dollars worth of parts, a 20 dollar bearing puller, and you can fix it right in your basement. You can set up a folding table or a car table. Maybe the boys go downstairs to the man cave to watch football. Tell them to bring down the pool pump. Or guys, maybe you want to save some cash and get yourself a new flat screen TV. Well, guess what? If you fix your pool pump this winter in your basement, you'll have an extra 300 bucks for the man cave. All right, so stay tuned. Me and Robert are going to be doing a whole new series on how to fix Haywood, Pentar, Cal Spa, Flowtech, everything you could possibly imagine. We're going to show you how to do it from the basement using standard hand tools. We're going to show you what parts you need and how to get the job done to save yourself tons of cash. All right, so this is Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. Thanks for watching. Peace.